When Sammy Hagar replaced David Lee Roth in Van Halen, there were a few obstacles to overcome. Hagar was a successful singer in his own right, taking over from a hugely popular frontman in David Lee Roth and joining a band in Van Halen that were massive. But one of the strangest stepping stones to his integrating with the band and the fans was his flat-out refusal to sing Jump, which was, arguably, their biggest ever hit at that point in time, and if not, their most easily recognisable. During a recent visit to the Steve O's Wild Ride podcast, where he talked about a myriad of subjects, including how much of an awful singer he considers David Lee Roth to be, a subject we've already covered here on this channel, Sammy Hagar explained why he had such a difficult time when it came to performing Van Halen's Jump, stating, On the first tour we did You Really Got Me, and we did There's Only One Way to Rock, and we just did the whole first 5150 record. Then for an encore we would play Jump, but I would pull somebody out of the audience to sing it, I was an asshole, honestly, guilty as charged. I didn't want to sing the songs because I thought Jump was a silly song. I didn't like the lyrics and I had a hard time standing up there going, can't you see me standing here, I got my back against a record machine, you know what I mean. He then explained that though he might not have entirely warmed up to the song, he did eventually understand why it needed a place in the set list, but that it wasn't his choice to keep it out, saying... Later on I started getting a little bit more user friendly, but then we had more albums so we didn't need it. Eddie was the one that didn't want to play the catalogue. Replacing a singer in any band is a difficult thing to do, and then to expect that singer to perform songs made world famous by the guy or girl they've replaced, that makes that job even harder. But what do you think? Did you ever see Sammy Hagar and Van Halen perform Jump? Was it any good? Or should bands just leave their back catalogue alone if they replace the voice that made it famous? Sound off in the comments section and let us know.